From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 5 starts right now. First at 5, a hectic 24 hours for West Ottawa Public Schools. An online threat today from someone in Alabama put both the North and South High School buildings into a shelter in place. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Office telling us everything is okay and that that threat turned out not to be credible. So good news on that front. Yeah, but this comes just one day after a former substitute teacher at West Ottawa Schools was arrested and charged with criminal sexual conduct. Our Julie Denmeyer has been digging into the investigation which had been going on for months. She joins us live now with the story. Julie. Yeah, Janice, the investigation started towards the end of August, and we do know the name of that substitute teacher. It is Jill Ann Epstrom. She's 50 years old, the victim in this case, 34 years younger than she is, and she's currently charged with criminal sexual conduct in the third degree because the victim in this case is 16 years old or older and because it was an abuse of power as her, in her position as an educator. No one answering at Jill Epstrom's listed address, despite the former substitute being out on bond. Here is where court documents say Epstrom sexually assaulted a 16-year-old student from West Ottawa. He was staying with Epstrom and her then-husband during the summer. Epstrom was a sub during summer school who spent most, but not all of her time at West Ottawa. I know for sure that she's worked in some other school districts in Ottawa County, yes. Towards the end of August, the sheriff's office launched an investigation. Summer school was over before we found out about it, so um, we... Once we found out about it, she had not worked in our district since then. Edge's staff, her employer, giving Fox 17 a statement which reads in part, quote, upon notification, we took immediate action and put this employee on unpaid leave pending the outcome of the investigation. It, as a parent, you know, and as an educator, we've, you know, sworn to defend all of our kids at all times and protect them. And I think, I mean, it is as serious as it gets and it's our job to protect them. Um, as a parent, it's just just heartbreaking to hear, you know, things that happen in in schools. But that didn't stop Epstrom from trying to teach full time. Grand Rapids Public Schools confirming to Fox 17 they actually hired Epstrom over the summer to work for them this fall. The district says she never set foot on school grounds or met with students. GRPS says they only found out about the criminal sexual conduct investigation after being notified by the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department. This type of abuse, the hardest kind to believe, says Shira Williams with the Ed and Nancy Hannenberg Children's Advocacy Center. We are geared to think of women as nurturers and protectors. And even as folks um, like myself working in this system, sometimes our minds struggle to make sense when the allegation is a female. But more and more of these types of allegations coming to light. And what I've seen over the course of time is that our team has, has been able to prosecute and even investigate more um, criminal sexual conducts where females are named as the offender. And I think that is a shift in the culture and society. William saying it's never a child's fault, no matter their age, gender identity or sex. And unfortunately, we often hear like they liked it or they would have wanted it. Any you know, um, young man would be um, so grateful to have this woman come on to him when in reality that is not the case at all. Through a little bit more of my digging today, I did learn that Epstrom had previously subbed in Hudsonville schools. She's set to appear in court again for a probable cause hearing at 10 o'clock in the morning on November 3rd. Live in Holland, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you for that, Julie. And today, the Michigan House of Representatives approved a plan that adds protection to vulnerable children. Especially those who are nonverbal, the bill would increase the punishments for abusers. There is already a similar law protecting vulnerable adults, but not kids. And that's something that Representative Julie Kelly wanted to change. She said in a statement, we must do more to protect these precious children from abusers and make sure our law enforcement officers have the proper tools so that the punishment fits the crime if such misconduct occurs. After passing with bipartisan support in the House, that plan now moves on to the Senate for further consideration. Well,